With the coach, Mike, we made this. We're on the road once again, taking you behind the scenes what it's like being a major league ball player. And I stumbled across over here on the Detroit side and ran across the man here for Detroit. I'm going to let him introduce himself to my Chicago audience. All right. Yeah, my name's Matt Vierling. I play with the Detroit Tigers. Every kid dreams of playing in the big leagues. You're in the big leagues. What's this feeling like? It's incredible. I mean, I think everybody in the room would say the same thing. Just being here is an accomplishment in itself. Um, you know, a lot of us have, you know, worked pretty hard to get here. So uh, definitely gratifying, and, and you're happier here. So what was that road like for you getting here? Yeah, so I went to uh, – I'm from St. Louis – Went to high school there and then went to Notre Dame for college. Uh, was there for three years and then got drafted by the Phillies. And I pretty much spent my whole pro career since 2018 with the Phillies and uh, got traded in January over here. So you went to Notre Dame. You want my words to think you're smart or something? <laughs> yeah, people think I'm smart. That's how I got them fooled. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of kids look at you guys. They think you get drafted and you're in the big leagues the next day. They don't understand. Yeah. It don't work like that. Mm -mm. No, no, no. It, it's far from that. You, uh, you got to, I mean, you're usually nowadays some guys are going straight to the big leagues. It almost seems like uh, it's quicker now. But usually you're going to go into the minor leagues for at least a couple of years at the, at the minimum. And, you're gonna grind on there in low A, high A, um, you know, double A, triple A, trying to try to go up through the ranks and, and prove yourself. And then once you get to the big leagues, that's when it all starts. And I would always tell my guys, whatever it took to get here, once you get here, you throw it out all out the window because it all starts over. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, obviously you know who you are and you know what it took to get here, so you have those foundations. But once you get up here, you learn even more and you kind of uh, you know adjust and, and everything like that. So being able to get up here and get your feet wet and, and have a little bit of time to adjust it is helpful. So when you were growing up, who were some of the big league players that you idolized? For me, growing up in St. Louis, the Cardinals are a big deal. Um, so Albert Pujols, Yadier Molina, um, let's see, like when I was really young, like Mark McGuire, mm -hmm. like those type of guys. So um, yeah, definitely a big Cardinal fan growing up. So you named all the heavyweights of the Cardinals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were my guys, man. And, you know, they, they had a bunch of, I mean, you know those teams back in front if you're from St. Louis. It's, it's the best thing to do there. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely a big fan of those guys. They, could, they know what they're doing. So wait a minute now. You go throw out St. Louis and Chicago. Now, where did the Cubs fit in on your list? Yeah. yeah they, <laughs> you better not answer that. We, yeah, we were that. I, I, that right I just now. had to throw that with it. <laughs> So, I mean, when you think about your journey to the big leagues, I mean, do you sometimes just pinch yourself like, I'm really in the big leagues? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think sometimes, you know, the game of baseball can be hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially at this level, you put a lot of pressure on yourself um, to be good. But there are some times when, you know, you take a step back and you go, man, I'm in the big leagues doing it right now. It kind of makes it those struggles go away a little bit. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, you just got to take a step back and, and just enjoy it because it is pretty special being able to do it. So when you think about this big league experience, do you, do you sometimes look across the field at those guys and just pinch yourself? Earlier in my career, like I would say like in 21, I do that a lot. I think now um, going on like pretty much my second year, being able to kind of like play against those guys day in and day out. Mm -hmm. That's kind of gone away a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but definitely there still are some guys that you're like, man, it's pretty cool. Like playing with Mays, like that's a pretty cool one, being able to do that every day. Do you uh, watch ESPN and look for yourself on ESPN? <laughs> come on, man, come on. I mean, I think if everybody has a good night, they're looking to see what, what the highlights are like, but um, yeah, I mean, you look at Sports Center, you look at stuff, not just for yourself, but for the team too. If the team has a good night, you want to see, you know, you want to see that on TV or on the highlights. So wait a minute, you be looking for that down and out of that moment? <laughs> hey, if I see Javi make a good play, I want to see it on TV, so it's cool. Last two questions. Yeah. First big league hit. I was in San Francisco in 21, 2021, and uh, off Harleen Garcia, single to right field. First big league home run. First big league home run off Will Crow in Philly. Um, he was on Pittsburgh at the time, and that was also in 21. Now, who got the ball, you or Mama? 
I got the ball. Mama, 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 he didn't mama wants it. Uh, yeah. Mama, he didn't give you the ball. See, I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> All right, last question. Every kid dream playing in the big leagues. Get that call up, you go into the big leagues. Walk in that locker room for the very first time, see your uniform hanging up. What's that feeling like? It's an incredible feeling. Um, you kind of, you kind of, you don't, don't really know what to do, I'd say. Um, you just want to carry on as usual, but it's not the same. It's, it's you know, you're in the big leagues. So, yeah, being able to see that, it's it's a special moment. Did you cry? No, no crying come for on, me. Come on, we, we know No we crying. crying. My, my dad and mom might have done yeah, that. We, we know me. mom's crying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pops did cry. He's like no, the boy in the big leagues. Yeah, he's <laughs> wanting me to get a hit. Yeah. Coach, take you behind the scenes with the man from Detroit. All right. Appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks a lot.